who is Penelope. We've had nothing to do with her. That's incredibly disrespectful of you, human. Hi, this is Cass from Aussie Cass Plays, and I am an idiot. True story. Definitely 100% fact. I recorded the whole first part of this episode with no sound because the last thing I recorded with my recording software was the machinima and I had turned the sound capture off for it and forgot like a dummy. You may have guessed. In fact, I'll put, I'll keep the footage of the kids blowing out the candles, but yes, we've just aged up the twins. It was also the autumnal equinox. They had a grand meal. It was all very cute, but there was no sound. So here we are. We're starting now. So this is Gabriel's little makeover he did get to level fives in all his skills so did his brother so he should have the top-notch toddler trait i think he's super cute and i'll show you little bartholomew and then i'll go through the outfits i cannot believe i did that i thought about going back and like just starting over from the last save point but i put so much time into their makeovers and stuff that i was just like i don't want to have to do it all again Anyway, it's fine. It's fine. I'll catch you guys up. But this is little Bartholomew. They're obviously not identical twins, even disregarding the hair and eye color. They have different face shapes. So I'll just run through Gabriel's outfits real quick, bearing in mind he is our heir. I've given him bookworm, actually randomly generated when I clicked the button and I was like, yep, sounds good, especially because that's sort of like Mira's influence. I really like that sort of touch for him. He's on WizKid and I'll quickly shoot through. Obviously he's very dressy. He's a dressy lad, except for this outfit, because he has to be a dressy lad because he's the heir to the water state. It's necessary. Hang on, wait, did I choose the same? Oh no, the shoes are different. I'm like, was that the same? The shoes are different. And that's his cold weather. I'll run through Bartholomew's outfits real quick. That's actually his cold weather. So we'll go back to the beginning. He got outgoing and I've put him on super siblings, which is a custom aspiration. So he'll probably end up being a priest, but at the moment he's very focused on his twin. Also his little sister, but mainly his twin. So I'll quickly shoot through his outfits. Again, athletic wear is the only one that's not really dressy. We've got party. He's not quite as dressy as his brother, just because he's not the heir to the water state. I expect Judith has probably been sending parcels of clothing to Anaya that are suitable. Probably things that Lucas used to wear when he was a boy. So in terms of developments since the last part, and I did just go over all of this, and I'm probably going to forget something now, Mira actually finished her aspiration. I played a couple of days off screen after the wedding, and she only needed one more skill at level eight. So now she can write skill books. And I thought because she can't teach in the way that she wants to, I'm having her do the writing aspiration. I'm not going to super focus on it, but she's working on writing skill books. I'm putting them all in Gabriel's inventory. So the idea is these are not mass produced sermons and things like what Jacob does. These are handwritten specific tomes where she's pouring out all of the knowledge in her head with the idea of benefiting the future generations. So Vivienne's cookbook is already in his inventory. She's done a logic book and a gardening book. And this is a charisma book because I figured those are the kind of skills I want him to have a farm at the water state. So the gardening is relevant. And then, I mean, he's doing the businessman career. Gabriel will be a businessman in the next generation. So that's why I figured logic and charisma. So Mira's guide to, I want to say peopling, social etiquette. Yes, I said etiquette. I know that's not how you say it. So the aspiration she did is the one that technically Jacob was meant to do by the letter of the rules, but I, because she had to change careers so many times, I chose to ignore that. So he's done a different aspiration. I figured her having her finish the aspiration Jacob was meant to do, I have completed it. So people can't say I kind of took the easy path or anything because... I did do it. I just didn't do it on the sim. It told me to because I wanted him to do the custom priest career. So I didn't want him to change jobs three times. In terms of other developments, Jacob is almost at the point of getting a promotion. I'm hoping he'll get it tomorrow because today was a holiday. He actually didn't go to work. So I'm a little bit nervous he's not going to get there because obviously that is a big focus for us now. Anaya has mainly spent the time doing chores, looking after the garden, although... I say that and then notice she didn't weed today. That's fine. So yeah, that's kind of where that's at. Both the kids got the top notch. To oh, why is his reputation so bad? Is it because you're related to Judith Ward in some way? He didn't get top notch toddler. Wait, he didn't get it. He didn't get it either. That's a new and exciting glitch. 
They should definitely both have it. I'm going to cheat that onto them. I worked really hard for them to have that trait. doesn't matter so much for Bartholomew, but Gabriel needs to have that trait. So when he wakes up, I'm going to cheat that on. That is so annoying. By the way, this is the boys' bedroom makeover, so they have actual child bedroom now. So this is Gabriel's side. He's got a nice big wall hanging there. I figured wall hanging is good for, like, keeping the heat in. We are heading towards winter. It's autumn at the moment. And this is little Bartholomew's side. He doesn't have a wall hanging. I feel really mean about that. I didn't realize I only put it on one side. He should have one too. So I gave them each a set of drawers and then they've got a single desk to do their homework at. It's unfortunate that that kind of covers the window, but the positioning of the windows in this building is fixed. So I can't delete it. So one thing I promised that I would have Jacob do at the church, and it hasn't been relevant until now, is I wanted him to be also responsible for graveyard maintenance because it's part of respecting the dead. I mean, if he were wealthy enough, he could pay to have someone do it. But I kind of like that he does it himself, you know. So he's out here just finishing raking the leaves, or he was. Oh, there was some over there. I apologize, Jacob. So the other thing I wanted to mention is I repaired my game. That was a suggestion from the comments. Thank you very much, Rainbow Llama. However, it does not appear to have made a difference. I haven't nearly had anyone die in this save yet. <laughs> the day is young. But I have had them have a full bar with yellow, which is a pretty good warning sign. I don't know if that means it's a mod causing it or if the needs glitch that I'm having is somehow baked into The Sims 4. I have seen other people, I know I've said this before, I've seen other people say that they've had it. Someone who played on console, probably it's baked in, but then why are some people having it and some aren't? It could be something to do with, you know, lifespan states or game options or there's lots of possibilities. So I'll show you the books that we've got so far. I'm actually really happy with this idea. So that's the book Vivienne wrote. We also have Mira's Guide to Thought, which is the logic book she wrote. We have Mira's Guide to the Garden and we have Mira's Guide to Social Etiquette. I just really like that idea. I mean, I'm not planning on having him read them yet. Aside from anything else, he wouldn't get those skills, but that's all right. As far as how Caroline is going, she's doing quite well in her skills. Oh, that's the thing I was going to do. I'm going to try and figure out how to cheat this trait on. I ended up doing it the old fashioned way. Traits dot equip underscore trait space trait underscore top underscore not underscore toddler. And then you hit enter with testing cheats true. And they have the trait that they should have had when they aged up. I don't know why they didn't have it. Given all the other many and varied glitches that I seem to have in my game at the moment, and maybe shouldn't be a surprise, but hopefully you guys don't mind me cheating it on. I know I showed you in the last part how far their skills were from getting it. Bartholomew, I think just at the end of the wedding, literally just needed a little bit of movement skill. He was so close. So it's not like I didn't work for it. It just uh, didn't happen. We've just got the ladies at home and get some food. Oh, oh, that's cool. Did I tell her to read to Caroline? I don't think I did. She must have automatically queued that, but that's good because that's actually what she needed. Uh, have a child get married. Oh, well, I mean, this isn't going to go any further. When Gabriel gets married, we won't be in this household anymore, but that's all right. Now, I can't remember if I told you guys the skill I had Mira get as her last skill was the vampire knowledge one. Because I figured the disappearance of Penelope under slightly suspicious, possibly vampire related circumstances sparked that drive in her. Plus, I'm not going to lie, it is a very easy skill to level. So that's why I did it. I also wanted her to be able to make like the garlic braids for the church and stuff. So the other thing that's been happening is Mira has been corresponding with Lucas, you know, talking about her writing projects, her research. She probably hasn't mentioned the vampire thing just because dabbling in the occult it could be seen that way and obviously not everybody feels the same way about the occult particularly in this household jacob wouldn't have a problem with mira researching the occult but he would 100 percent have a problem with penelope's active interest in the occult jacob views the occult as very dangerous as a result of his religion so you know occults are evil and stuff you may have noticed if you've watched the wedding machinima desiree was actually at olive's wedding at the church he was very tense about that because she is a spellcaster but i figured that desiree was such well, is friends with gerard and gerard's family that 
Gerard would have wanted her to be at Olive's wedding. Jacob kind of just had to suck that up because he was the officiant. He was not the planner of the wedding. Plus, I wanted to see Desiree. I haven't seen Desiree in ages. And she came along and she was hilarious, like she always is, pulling faces and stuff. I'm mainly sitting here actually keeping an eye on... Yes! I was going to say, I'm mainly sitting here checking in every five seconds on Jacob. So he is going to get promoted today, barring any ridiculous pop-ups that get him a performance loss. So that'll make him level eight. And then we just need to get him to 10 and we're done. I was thinking though, it's been a while since we had a sermon. So I might actually have him organize a sermon when he gets home. Yay, Jacob got promoted. He's a prayer book writer. He's been doing that since the start, but that's okay. Father Jacob's been promoted. He will now make an additional 10 for 50 an hour. Finally, he's starting to get paid okay. He's received the following bonus. So two and a half grand. He works Monday to Friday still, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's very much a nine to five job. That is exciting. Oh, he needs to write a book and create a religious blog. It's not a blog. Well, imagine it's something else, but I will get him to do those things. What I might do is is plan a sermon tonight though and then I'll have him do that stuff off screen after I stop recording I think just because him sitting at the computer tippy tapping away it's not so exciting so it's going super well as is traditional when you have lots of sims over I was trying to just get them to sit and listen but of course they're not we've got a few people who've shown up we've got Lord Matthias Honeycutt who is the brother of Christina so this is the uncle of the kids we have Dante who is also somehow some kind of cousin to the kids we've got Anaya sitting here. I did invite a few others like Monique Goth is around. I don't know where she's disappeared to. And I've got the kids up the back. They're supposed to be listening, but they're kind of having a little sneaky chat to one another um, in the same way that Anaya is not paying as much attention as she should. But the main scandal, I guess, is the two ladies who are sitting here. So we have Aria, who has decided to go outside and talk to Joseph who is also a relative, and we have Eden, who is a teenager still. She's been a teenager for a long time. They are Fae. They're both Fae. He knows they're Fae. He's seen them both glowing. He's feeling tense because they're here. Partly because how dare, but also because he believes Penelope was Fae touched and that the Fae may have had something to do with it. So he's actually going to come over here and he's going to warn against what angers the Watcher, chastise her for her unfitting behaviour, and then I'm going to have him have an argument with them. So I'll say argue about politics. Oh my dude, I told you to eat before we started. So Monique, you'll notice, seems like she's in a pretty good mood. I'll just show you her face real quick since she's choosing to leave. So if she was cut up, offended, whatever, by Lucas terminating their betrothal. She's certainly hiding it well. Shout forbidden words, I guess. This is very mean that he's doing this to a teenager. Normally, I'd like to imagine my boy wouldn't do that kind of thing, but he is because they are unclean. They're evil. He's in the presence of evil. So he's like telling them that they have to return a Penelope and undo the curse. Oh, yes. Negative sentiment. That's what we want. And she's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Who is Penelope? We've had nothing to do with her. That's incredibly disrespectful of you, human. <laughs> oh, Sim. I don't know. Are they humans? I've had this conversation before in other series, like whether uh, the default sim is a human, if they're called humans or if they're called sims. Let me know what you think. But yes, so I'm going to have him. Oh, he's sh from a good mannered sim shouting forbidden words. He's very embarrassed that the nobility saw him losing his cool, but he also very strongly believes they're responsible. So I'm actually going to have him kick them out. The thing is, obviously, they don't know what he's talking about. If Penelope is Fae touched, it wasn't necessarily them. Like, if the Fae were actually responsible for her erratic trait, uh, it's also possible that it's any number of other things that have caused it, you know? It could be actual genuine mental illness. It could be some other supernatural. She did have an obsession with vampires from a teen. I actually imagine Vlad... And I'm making woo finger gestures that you can't see. But they've, like, the idea was implanted in her head via vampire occult things, which could very easily mean that if her erratic trait is a result of that, then they did that as well. I don't think the Fae did it. I I'm calling her Fae Touch, but I don't think the Fae did it. I think it was other things. I'm just going to make sure he eats. Now, I've actually been recording for a really long time, despite the fact this is going to be a very short part. There is one thing I want to do, though. 
While the Fae didn't have anything to do with Penelope, they are offended by what has just happened. So it's late in the evening and the Sims have all gone to bed and Arya and Ethan have come back and they are performing some Fae magic. They're doing their secret little handshake here and then they're going to combine their mind powers to curse the church. Now, my plan is I'm going to put a negative lot trade on the church of some kind. I don't know what yet, whether it'll be creepy crawlies. Probably not the actual curse trait because that's a nightmare. But Jacob's behavior towards the Fae has created him some enemies. And I figure if I want to have him follow the tenets of the Order of the Watcher, I can't not have him be hostile to occults. But at the same time, there would be consequences for that, you know? So I'm going to leave this part here. If you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe. You know the drill. Don't forget to wash your hands and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.